How's everyone doing today? It's Chris, aka the Winter Soldier, on Mad Bean Pedals Forum, and this is part three of our Tata UV printing tutorial. And in this video, we're going to be talking about exporting to PDF format. We're going to talk about exporting from Affinity Designer to a PDF and also from Illustrator, and some of the differences and some of the workarounds that I've come to find useful. So first we're going to look at exporting to a PDF in Affinity Designer and you have to remember that the only three layers that Tata wants to see are your white layer, your color layer, and your gloss layer. One of the easiest ways to do this is to delete the other layers that you're not going to be using. Now I've done that over in this file right here. So what I would do is get rid of those layers and simply copy the color layer two more times and then relabel them. This one looks like I forgot to. So I'll change that to gloss. Okay, so now we're ready. Then I would go ahead and I would pull up my swatches right here, and I would apply the swatches to the layers that they correspond to. So here's my white layer. As you can see, everything has been applied with the white layer. Same with my gloss layer. And as you see, when they stack, the top layer that you're going to see is the gloss. So don't think anything's wrong with your image if that's all you see once you export it. So now that we have our three layers and we have the corresponding swatches applied to those layers, now we're going to export to a PDF. So what we do is we go up into File, Export, and PDF. So I usually do just PDF for print. Um, you can use, I've seen people like Cooter on Mad Bean, uh, he has the PDF. X4. I don't think it really matters which of those two that you use. And when you come down here, you have a couple options. You can do the whole document, you can do selection areas only, or certain selections only. And then if you still have those other layers in that we didn't delete, there's an option here where you don't export layers hidden. So you just click this and if it isn't highlighted on the side over here it won't export those in your PDF file. So I only have the three layers so I'm not going to worry about that. So we're going to click export and this is just my tutorial file right here. Um, I'm going to put polyphase test number two. You can save it wherever you want to as long as you have it saved and you know where it's at, you can pull it up when you upload it later on the Tata Box tool. So I'm going to save this. Now once it's saved, uh, we're going to go ahead and open up and check and make sure that all the layers exported fine. So this is in Adobe Acrobat Reader. I'm going to pull up Right here, we're going to open files and polyphase test two. And as you can see here, we have the top layer is the gloss. So we're going to go ahead to our layer and we're going to go ahead and click these off and make sure that all the swatches are still there. So here's our gloss, our color, and our white. So in Adobe Acrobat Reader, everything exported fine. And as Cooter had mentioned in his posts on the Mad Bean Pedals forum, when he imported from Xscape and then exported to a PDF, this has worked completely fine for him from Tata. I haven't tried it myself, so I can't verify that on my end, 
but I did email Hugo, who is in charge of all the UV printing services at Tata, to ensure that this type of file is perfectly fine for anyone to use. And when I find out that information, I will make sure to post it on the forum. So one of the reasons I bring this up is because Tata uses Adobe Illustrator to open up their files. Here's a file where we exported to a PDF from Affinity Designer. And if you open it up in Illustrator, this is what you will find. The three layers that we saw in Adobe Acrobat are now compressed into one file and it's just one layer and everything's sequential but I don't know that this is going to print properly. So I found a workaround for that. This is what I've been doing the whole time. So what I've been doing is I will go into Affinity and I will just take the color layer and export that as a PDF. And then I will go into Adobe Illustrator. I'll open that up and I'll just have the color layer. So what I will do is I will go and duplicate that and make my white and gloss layers. So now that I have those done, I can go ahead and apply my color swatches. So I'll go into the white. I'm going to pull up my VersaWorks color swatches and apply my white. Now I have this border here that I have to fix. So now that's done on the white layer. Now we'll apply the gloss layer. Do the same thing. And now we have our three layers. And then what I can do is because this is already in PDF format is simply save it. One last thing before we move on to the next video is, is when you have your final PDF file done, make sure that all the layers are visible. Because if I send this, just like this, even though the layer is there, when they open it, they can't print the gloss layer or any other layer that's not visible. They will tell you that there's an error and that you have to fix it and resubmit the file. I've had this happen once and I won't make that mistake again. So that concludes this video on exporting to a PDF. In the next video, we're going to talk about ordering from Tata and submitting into the Tata Box tool. See you guys next time.